So what we are going to see now is a transaction using a traditional car terminal, right? We have manipulated the buzzer by means of software, a simple library that can be integrated into the terminal application and can be used to make a payment using a phone. Uh, this is an iOS, but this could be an Android or any other um, device and using that we can make a payment. It could be a mobile banking application, it could be a mobile wallet, it doesn't matter, all right? So the first thing is to say that if you, you, once you go to the cashier, you check out, you wanna say, how do I want to pay? I need to pay by cash, card, or digital wallet. So here we're going to pay by using your digital wallet. So it's very simple, we say, save. It could be any function, this is just a, a random generic demo. I say enter the amount and I say the amount is 33.33 .33. and all I need to do is bring my phone close to the device and press pay. As you can see here the amount is clearly visible all I need to do is press play and here I have to press continue for some so we've got a success. Uh, here I have to press continue for simple fact that this terminal is offline but if it were off online it would get a, a confirmation ping back in from the wallet server or through a middleware wherever required and then it would say confirmed and as you can see the confirmation message is printed out. So this is how you can accept a digital payment on legacy infrastructure which is typically denoted by a card terminal or a point of sale terminal. Now, this could be any brand here for this purpose. I'm using Verifone, but it could be Ingenico, it could be Pax, it could be any of the Android manufacturers that are out today, it doesn't matter. So we can manipulate any of these. For any questions, please reach out to me on my details which are below mentioned on my card.